Uh, thank you, anyone who's waiting on uh, for this meeting to start. We got delayed due to transportation glitches. Um, and welcome to the Thursday, September 14th, 2023, regular meeting of the HPARB. Um, we're going to open the meeting by saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, sorry. I'll have, Keith, I'm in a meeting. I'll have, to call, I'll have to call you back, okay? Thanks. Bye. Let me turn this off. I apologize. Okay. So we're going to table to the end of the meeting these first two agenda items in case. Okay. They... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Can I take a motion? I'll accept a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, all right. No opposed. Okay. So we have a continued public hearing at 15 Lighthouse Lane. And I don't think we have a representative for that. Do we have anybody here? They have requested an adjournment. Okay. And similarly, do we have a representative for 66 Hillside Drive? Okay, we will adjourn. We will table those two to the end of the meeting and then we can adjourn them. Oh, no, you can make a motion to adjourn 15 Lighthouse and that will be to the next meeting, which is October 12th. Okay, I was trying to do both at the same time, but all right, 10, 12. Okay, so I'll take a mo I will make a motion to adjourn. 15 White House Lane. Seven. All in favor? All uh, right. I will also make a motion to well, take. What we could do is probably second call 66 because no one's here. Well, that's what I meant by table mm. till the end of the meeting. Okay. So uh, we'll second call. I'll make a motion to second call 66 Hillside Drive. Okay. Um I'll second, but I don't think we need to do that. Oh, we don't need to? Oh, yeah. Please. Sixty Old Business, 68 Madison Street. Is there anyone here to represent them? This out. I don't know if you heard about it, but they they were about their differences. Okay. Please identify Hi. yourself. Hi. Good evening. I'm John Monardo. Excuse me. From the city of Madison Street. My husband and I have an application. Okay. Here in July, at that time I mentioned we were in discussion with our neighbors. Our neighbors are still working at with their concerns about the project. So there are two follow-ups. The board had asked us for the updated landscape plan. That's what we have. And you had asked, one of the members had asked for a schedule of the heights of the plants. That's the other document. But I did want to inform the board and I'm happy to refer um, to my neighbor's council. We have arrived at a resolution. Um, we've negotiated some terms. I'm happy to read them off to the board. That's not my seat, I will grab them. Um, and I can let you know what the, the resolution was that will help. You guys can read them here. Um, there. Well, I guess we should read it out for the sake of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just for the audience, the, this was an issue about the size and location of a pool that was proposed and opposed by the neighbor. <clears throat> and uh, the two parties have met and come to a resolution. And so the pool equipment will be located to the garage, I assume into, inside the garage. The overall length of the proposed pool will be reduced by four feet from 32 to 28. 
A solid fence will be added to the property line adjacent to the pool, which is on the west side of the property. The height of the trees along the party's shared property line, closest to 20 Uni Union Street's kitchen windows, will be reduced and maintained at a 10-foot height. Okay. Thank you. Does this show <laughs> the new... No, this doesn't this, show the new dimensions. Yeah, they don't have the old dimensions on them. The pool of yes, we were allowed to resolve it last night. We have oh. a chance to, uh, but we will. I can have it redrawn and submitted for four feet shorter. Yeah, it's moving. It's all coming off the end, closest to twenty. So it's taking it down. So I had called them this morning to get access to the property. Mm -hmm. and so this is what I got verbally. That's about the four foot yeah. change, and the equipment's going to go in the pool house. And the, garage. And, and the garage, yeah, and the um, and this somewhere along this property lines where the tree is going to be reduced and maintained, right? Or the where the kitchen is, right. okay. Um, okay. as long mm -hmm. as we have a plan that shows that, right? So, yeah. you revise the plan to be reflective of what you've just presented, so the pool length, yeah, and yeah. everything else. So, so I would say that can become a consent agenda item next month, okay. So, you don't have to necessarily come for that to be approved. Just submit the drawings. Just submit the drawings, and we can we can do it without your presence. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So good. Thank yeah. You Thank we'll, you. We'll resubmit. I just like you to come up for the record and con confirm that everything's been concluded to everybody's satisfaction. My name is Frank from Springfield, DC. We represent the homeowner at Twenty Union. The plaintiff. I'm sorry. The plaintiff. Yes. Okay. Funny Union LLC. Um, and I'm from Creekman's office out of Creekman. Um, so we are, um, we've come to an agreement with the owner of 68 Madison that, as he said, um, he will relocate the pool equipment into the garage. He's going to shorten the pool on the north side from 32 feet to 28 feet. He's going to add, add a solid fence to the westerly property line. That is the um, shared property lines of 20 Union and um, reduce the size of the Harbor Vites near our um, clients' kitchen windows to 10 feet and maintain them at that feet. And based on these conditions to the approval, um, we are now in support of the application. We'll be withdrawing um, all filings against them related to the same. Thank you. So, so when you come back, you'll have your landscape plan with your fence. Are you guys agreeing what, what's the definition of solid fence? So, sorry. So, what we're going to do is my neighbor has a solid fence at the north and the south end. And the area where the pool is is just um, plantings on her property set. We're just going to mimic what she has. So, we're going to keep as closely as possible with the exact same fence on the left side of the property. So, a solid fence line. And then we'll plant on our side as well. So we plant fence between mm -hmm. our properties. Good fences good. make good neighbors. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, Bobby. Oh. That's a that's a good example of people reaching a consensus on something. Yeah. So are we tabling that? So We're gonna table it because we I'd like to us to be more thorough and demand the landscaping plans before we approve something incomplete. Mm -hmm. So that's where I want to go. So yeah. we'll just wait for that. So when the revised plan comes in, it could just be a consent agenda. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we can call the next item. So you're going to table the actually actual order 12 consent agenda item. Right. Thank you. Motion to table 68 second. Madison Street. All second. Oh, you already did. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So the next one, 70 Dover has um, requested an adjournment. So oh. the October 12th. Motion to adjourn 70 Glover. Second. All in favor? Sorry, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So next is uh, 60 Joel's Lane.
Is there somebody here to represent that? For the last meeting, you guys requested to know what was going to go underneath the um, sliding glass door because there's um, nothing underneath here. So Mr. Piccarelli is going to explain to you guys what's going on. He did speak with um, the building inspector. Great. So I'm sorry to trouble you here, but you can understand we didn't want the door opening to the abyss, right? Sure, I'm sorry, I've been here. Could I get a little closer? No, but that's all right. You can go ahead and, and make your presentation. That's all right. Please proceed. Mr. He's going to, he was asking you to proceed and just say what you were going to put underneath the... Oh, uh, we'd like to uh, put a 6 by 14 foot deck automatic sliding glass door, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, we about three foot off the ground, and it will tie into our pre-existing deck, and then we can use a staircase from the pre-existing deck uh, off that uh, deck area. So. Thank you. Any questions? No, no. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, I move that we approve um, the application for 60 Joel's Lane. All second. All in favor? All uh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> We're moving on to uh, new business. Who's here for two block point uh, lane? What about seven Cornell? Hmm? And your new business number one. This um, Yeah, two block lane. Oh, I've got my old. Okay. What happened to seven Cornell? Is anybody here for. Uh, two? Are you here? You're going to have to second call that. Okay. Second call. <laughs> second call. Okay, is there anyone here to represent Seven Cornell Road? So while she's passing things out, please tell us who you are. Okay, my name is Greg Lutzmeyer. I am uh, the owner of Seven Cornell as well as the next door neighbor at 141 Redwood. So you own two properties next yes. to each other? Yeah, okay. two properties. Yeah. yeah. I bought uh, seven Cornell in 1976. My parents owned 141 Redwood, and after my mother passed away, I purchased it and renovated it a couple of years ago. So the... Uh, it's a cot, really a cottage at Seven Cornell Road. It is a one story, two bedroom, one bath, little house. Uh, it has an accessible basement, so you can drive in one end of it. There is an unconditioned porch that's actually supported on locust trees. <laughs> um, the original owner, I don't know whether he built it himself or whatever, but we think it was built sometime in the 1960s. I've uh, rented it out uh, to family members over the years during the summer months, and we drain the house and it's empty all, all winter. Uh, we like to add a, a very modest addition to the house uh, by extending, in effect, the front and rear parallel walls on one end, we'd like to tear off this screened-in porch that's on the locust uh, trunks and build a new little living room. The living room will be, will be transferred into or translated into a uh, dining room. There's really no place to eat in the house <laughs> except a tiny little three-by-three three, uh, <clears throat> table in the kitchen. And then at the other end, 
where the two bedrooms are, we'd like to add another bedroom and two bathrooms. Um, and so it's a pretty modest addition. It still is way under what uh, is allowed. Um, with the exception of the house across the street, the side yard faces on Cornell, we're the only house on Cornell Road that fronts on Cornell Road. Uh, Dartmouth passes at one house down, and then my house is on the other side at Redwood Road. Um, needless to say, the existing house has a very um, simple facade. A door, a picture window, and a uh, window in each one of the bedrooms, mm -hmm. and two in the kitchen. Um, what we'd like to do is simply add, as I said, the living room at one end, two bedrooms at the other end. And you can see by the elevation that basically we're simply adding, in effect, a gable end to both ends, which really bookends the existing uh, shed. Well, it's not a shed roof, it's really just a, a slightly pitched roof that's between them. When you walk down the street, you actually look up to the house because the land slopes down. Mm -hmm. That's why one can drive into the uh, basement one end. Under the two new bedrooms, uh, there is a space. And we debated about maybe making that a, a new um, garage or something making it into just a kind of little multi-purpose room. We've uh, decided to make that a little multi-purpose room because really the headroom in the existing basement of the garage is so low that you can, you can <laughs> drive a sports car into it, but you can't drive an SUV in it. Right. So uh, we'll continue to use the garage as it is. Um, the, um, on the rear side, we're also adding a, uh, a gable end, and that's where we're going to take this little 10 by 12 bedroom and extend it out into the backyard, another six feet. And so then it, once again, recalls the front with gable ends uh, mixing with uh, um, the, the smaller uh, shed roof. The, um, House will be sheathed in a gray party plank <laughs> that uh, matches my house exactly. I don't know whether you have pictures of my house we do. Next, year, next door. It too was a little one story ranch, mm -hmm. and uh, I simply expended, extended it in a similar way. Uh, what used to be a porch has now become the, the gable end, and now I can overlook the water where. Before you could, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so it's it's in keeping with that house. It's modest. It is the site. The perimeter of the site is filled with landscaping and trees. Um, we would do some foundation planting. We already have foundation planting. We'll uh, simply relocate it and add to it if necessary. Um, but it's it's a modest. Uh, it would be in keeping with Redwood, unlike the two monsters across the street. <laughs> um, and uh, it's a real neighborhood house. Um, the three neighbors uh, with us are, are all children, despite the fact we're in our 70s, of parents, and we've all um, taken over their houses. So it's a very nice neighborhood. Uh, we don't want a big house where there are lots of people who will try to rent it or something like that. So uh, I have two children and uh, they both, one of them at least finally has kids. So it's a place for now them to come out and visit us. And uh, so I think it's an architecturally compatible uh, solution. And uh, I would be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Well, thank you for that. Does anybody have any questions? Um, I, and maybe I'm just reading this wrong, but in between the windows of this rendering, yeah. these windows, there's some sort of design. Yeah, we'd like to put either 
to sort of com combine the windows to give a horizontal look, either to do some fish scale um, uh, shingles or do something a little bit different so that uh, it's not just a bunch of punched windows in the facade, but gives them not only the verticality with the gable ends, but a little bit of horizontal uh, this, uh, in the living room. Are you an architect? Yes. Clear. Um, it would be nice if some other people looked at, listened to this presentation. You did a wonderful job. I mean, thank you. Very nice. Judith, do you have any questions? I, I just want to compliment you on the fact that you're keeping all this modest and in uh, keep the neighborhood the way it what used to be. Yeah. <laughs> and, partly still is and, and it's a it's always a pleasure when somebody comes before us and doesn't want to build a giant monster <laughs> so it's a pleasure I, when i looked at the plans uh, i thought that they were really well done i like the way that you embraced the original literally embraced it and um uh i think it's it, I agree with Judith. We're, we, like you, are old timers here, and uh, at least I am. Judith isn't, but I mean, you know. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, it's nice, and 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 Megan is an advocate for maintaining the character of the of, of the village. So, you you've got some people I think who are very comfortable with your presentation. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned landscaping just earlier. I said said that I wanted to make sure that all landscaping accompanied this, but I think since you have existing landscaping um, and you have certainly pictures of it, that mm -hmm. we can make an exception this time, right? Make I would, approval with I that would that agree. Okay. Looks like there's plenty of greenery here. Right. I bought it from Tolby, uh, just before he moved out, that his brother was a landscaper and planted a lot of everything. <laughs> <laughs> So, so um, any other questions or comments? I, I mean, I, I don't, I feel like it's kind of strange, the fish scale. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it would be more, it would just look nicer to be more uniform with fish the scales. rest of the mm -hmm. okay. structure. Yeah. And maybe you can add a little intrigue by changing the, because um, you made the chimney uniform, but I feel like there you have, Mm -hmm. a little freedom to do something contrasting. Right. It, I, I'll be honest with you, it's not the tail that wags the dog. It's <laughs> not high up there on my right. priority. List. Yeah. So it, you have a feeling that it's something that is what do you guys think? I don't mm -hmm. know. Do you, do you, does this bother you? Uh, I, it's, yeah, it jumped me. out at me when right. I first saw it. I, 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 I looked at it and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, fish scales. Um, well, it's I like fish scales. Yeah, it's reminiscent of, of, but, uh, of the history yeah. of the village. Yeah, um, it doesn't bother me. Uh -huh. But I see well, the that's point. the thing. It, it jumped out at me, and then uh, the more I look at it, the more I think, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I just so, think the less materials, the better. It's hard to tell from this. But it would be in the same material. It's the same hardy plant. Okay. And I it's mean, the same color? Oh, yes. It's not a huge okay. problem. So it's really a texture, right? right. Yeah. Color yeah. It's not flamingo pink or anything. No. no. So, okay. it, you know, I think it might blend in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not a huge issue. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we'll leave, leave that at your good taste. Okay. Yeah. Um, so is there any other questions, comments? I will move that we uh, approve 7 Cornell uh, Road. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And next is 30 Lighthouse Lane. Is anybody here? I think someone's on. Okay. Need to sign that. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Well, thank you. Can you just state your name? 
Uh, my name is Matthew Powers, and I'm the owner of 30 Lighthouse Lane. Okay, Mr. Powers, would you like to uh, take us through the presentation, please? Um, sure. So uh, we have a pretty modest proposal here for a small pool in our backyard. Uh, the pool is 12 foot by 24 with an inset uh, spa. Uh, it fits within the existing setbacks, and so we're not asking for any variances or anything else. Um, we just want to take advantage of, of the backyard space that we have. So pretty straightforward um, and happy to answer any questions the board may have. Okay. Yeah. Is this the same thing? Same thing. The survey's on the third page. Okay. So I'm looking at the survey. Your surveyor says that your allowable coverage is 25%, um, 3,188 square feet, sorry. And that your total coverage, hmm. your proposal exceeds your um, allowable coverage. So it seems to me we need to ask you to talk to the ZBA about this. Am I reading this one? Over here. Probably wait to approve it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's EVA review it first. 3,100 versus 38. Am I reading? I'm not reading that. Really well. No. Well, that's what it seems like. It seems as though we've got allowable is 3,188 and existing is 3,870. Plus the fact then, then the total is over 4,100. Right? Mm -hmm. Is the total coverage or the existing? Okay, let me look at this. So we look at the allowable total coverage oh, right. is 3,100 square, 3,188, right? Then the existing exceeds that by a little over 5%. Yeah. And then, and then and the proposed exceeds it by 33%. Correct. So, so uh, yep. right? So, it requires so I'm sorry, sir. You're gonna. It, it's not it, for for the fact that you're gonna exceed the allowable lot coverage. I see. You have to go to the ZBA because they deal with the with the variances. Okay, so that's your lot coverage is is calculated as percentage of your land your lot size, and it's according to the survey. It's it should be at maximum twenty five percent. I see. So. Um, We'll, 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 with, we'll uh, hold your application until the ZBA gives us uh, clearance. So you have to go in front of them and contact the building department tomorrow. They can help you with that. You can make okay. an application. Okay. The ZBA, the, Zor the Zoning Board of Appeals. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Um, um, that sounds good. 
any, I mean, I suppose while we're here, are there any other questions uh, about the proposal as it stands uh, yes. for the ARB? I would say more native plants, um, native to the Northeast. And pollinators. Pollinators, things yep. that the native creatures out here are gonna want to, you know, feed off of. Eat. Because... Absolutely, that we, we have the intention of, of planting those for sure. Good, so, so maybe it, you should bring back a landscape plan with, with, with that after you get. We have a landscape plan. Was it the, in there? Yeah, Okay. I was looking at it. And okay. I, yeah, like I, uh, I, see. And I don't know much, but I did look up like the Kusa is native to Asia, I think. Right, it's a kind then, of dogwood. Yeah. Um, Audubon yeah, Society. that's that's an existing plant in the, that we have in the, in the yard right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but maybe just adding some more pollinators to enhance the environment out here. Great. Yeah, and certainly all. Native. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, I, sorry, I missed it before, but thank you for it. And so we'll see you probably in a month or two. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, that's the end of our agenda. Now, is there anybody here for the items that were tabled? Um, 66 House Lane. Lighthouse Lane. Oh. oh, who's this lady here? Hi, who are you? Which, Matt? So, 20, uh, two Bluff Point uh, Lane is on now. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Susan Lee. Hi, Susan. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay. So, formally identify yourself, please, and, and tell we, us what it is you want to just, accomplish. Just, well, we have a um, a need for a CA for two things. Uh, we, uh, first of all, were required by the town of Southampton to install three additional parking spaces. And we submitted a, uh, a survey that shows where they were to you guys when we asked for designation. The problem is our surveyor didn't go out to the site and notice that it would take out uh, three memories. So we got Chris LaGuardia to re- um, redraw them in a place that was less disruptive off the driveway and that's before you tonight we're simply um, adding three more spaces as required by the town of southampton when we um, went before them for our C uh, cpf fund money um, is that in the folder i didn't yes. see it uh, the, yep. yeah. this is the new survey yes there's it's, a survey but okay. this is liz speaking you do need a wetland permit from the harbor committee yeah Oh, okay. I, I couldn't hear something you were breaking up. I could, something was breaking up, and you said you didn't realize that when you put the parking places in something else, then I couldn't hear you. They no. the Okay. When oh, the, okay. when the surveyor drew the spaces that we showed on our original plan when we asked for historic landmark designation. The, he did not it did go out the side and notice that it would take out the trees, which we don't want to do. So we asked Chris LaGuardia, who lives across the street and is a planner, to locate them in a way that would be less disruptive to the. Okay. I didn't see this before. So, so let's, how many feet it is. can we move to approve if we want to subject to subject to okay the second the second item um, is the naming right plaques that we committed to prepare and do uh, for you're breaking up on us oh. 
You're frozen on us, actually. Yeah. So she's saying the second item is the plaques that are going to go on. Oh, the plaques. Yeah. Um, do we have pictures of the plaques? To question of one. Um, and there are one, there was one on the house by the front door. I had a picture of the house and circled the approximate area where it would go. Is this one? Uh, there was one on the work. I can't see it on Zoom. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can enlarge this. There's something in your folder that's a plaque that says painted mural by Morgan Baraka. Bad connection. I included all the pictures of where the, the, the naming rights would go. There are um, two on buildings, and then there is one um, on a bench, and there's one. Um, you go there. Lake. Also, the same size, four by six. There's one at the pool on a stake. There's one in front of the flagpole, one in front of the unicorn, and then one in front of the bench. They're all the same size. They're that. What about the bricks? What's happening with the, are plaques going on the bricks? That we we are naming bricks. Um, no, they're not plaques. They're replacement bricks, and only uh -huh. where the bricks have. Uh, are damaged? Are we removing those and replacing name with names? Let's see. Okay. You're replacing them with names. Donors, donors' names. We're replacing them with. Is this Chris's handwriting? No, we're we're replacing them with with bricks that are very like the ones that are there that have names on them. Okay, and the names are from so the people who donated. Is that the idea? Oh, I haven't met him yet. Okay. Technology. Yeah, but how big is it? Okay. I'm just... so if you, the if the the property has a substantial area of brick, it has a front terrace. It has a uh, side terrace, and we're looking at all the bricks that are damaged and need to be replaced, and that's what we're using. Those we're simply replacing those with similar, if, if not, they're not as old. What are the plaques going to be made of? Or anything? Just having the name added by carving out of the brick. So, so can you hear me? Yes. Susan, what are the plaques going to be made of? Do you know? Yeah, they're made of uh, stainless steel that's matte. I included a sample in the application. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's and they're simple. formatted. Uh, April Gornick has formatted them for us. Um, and the ones that are, quote, in the yard, not on, there are only two on buildings, um, those would be on stakes in front of, for example, the pool, and in front of, for example, the flagpole and the dock, for example. And I know you've said, but could you say that we have the dimensions of the plaques? Maybe I should talk uh, again. Excuse me, four by six. Four, four by six. Interest, yes. Right? That's okay. small. Yeah. That's small. Okay. small. We tried, you know, we didn't want to do anything that was large and flashy. So we we're using a good outdoor material and, and they're subtle. Um, the, the one that is large is the town plaque that is on the stone that is in one of the pictures. And um, we, we, that one will be no larger than 20 by 20 inches based on how they install it on top of the stone. Okay. Megan, any questions? <laughs> yeah, Megan, any questions? I mean, wouldn't it be nice if they were in bronze? <laughs> the plaques? Yeah. Well, 
I'm curious about uh, if you, replacing the bricks with other bricks with names on them, that assumes that the new bricks will be a very strong material, material because they have to hang on to these names. Whereas Sag Harbor bricks, which I suspect are perhaps what these bricks are from the old Sag Harbor brick company, uh, they're kind of soft and they give way and they look different. So I'm curious about the new bricks, the color, the composition, um, even well, the idea I can, tell, I can tell you. Yeah. Let, let me tell you where we're getting the bricks. Um, the, the bricks that line the driveway are similar. They're, they're probably newer than the front patio. Um, and mm. this is painful. Yeah. <laughs> If we could require in person. Okay, Susan. She come back. Yeah, in person. I hope. Right. Or with a better connection. Yeah. Susan. She's probably yeah. She's probably not even there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll accept a motion to table this until uh, Harvard Committee uh, reviews this. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. Both of you. Yeah, whatever. Yes. Two seconds. All right. <laughs> All in favor? All Aye. Right. Okay. Is there anybody else to to uh, recall now? Uh, who is this lady who's on the on the Zoom? Call? Hi, this is Leah Applewhite. I'm on the board of San Harbor Hills. Um, Homeowners Association. I was waiting to see about 66 Hiddleside Drive East that we're waiting to see if it's getting adjourned or, or not. Okay, thank you for identifying yourself. Um, well, I, I don't, we're ready to close the meeting. So I, I think it's, they're not gonna be here. Um, I can tell you that you do know that we reviewed it at the last meeting. Um, the president, of the Owners Association, the Sag Harbor Hills, uh, asked some questions. Correct. Uh, we had it reviewed by the building uh, inspector and um, the, the project um, was, uh, was not a violation of any code. Okay, thank you. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, we sent them back to uh, give us a landscaping plan, but there was nothing I think that the board could do to directly ob object or challenge anything that was presented. It was within the square footages, it was in, within the setbacks, it was fully compliant, so I didn't even have to go to zone it to ZBA. Oh, okie dokie. Nobody's here, so let's table that. Yes. So so these these questions were already answered um, regarding the basement, um, the but total. Yeah, but honestly, it really, if it, if they're not here to discuss it, it's not supposed to be really discussed at the applicant well, here it, as well. So if we could adjourn uh, it and then come to the next meeting. Well, we can do that. I, my yeah. thought was that this is public information; it's been recorded; it's available to the public. Absolutely. So so we're not. We're, we're not. We're just entering into almost a discussion. So. Well, my point was just to bring you up to date with what is public information and available on Zoom. So, on YouTube, YouTube. so is this is this no longer matter no longer going to be on the agenda? The a matter has been it's going to be adjourned until next month. So it's so still being month. adjourned until next month. Okay. Yes, that's yeah. correct. Okay. All right. I appreciate Thank that. Thank, Thank you for you. that information. Thank you. Okay. So with that, uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Table. table 66 Hillside. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And I think there'd be no further business in front of this body. I will make a motion that we conclude in the meeting. I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you.